Hi, I'm the eccentric scientist. Electricity is a good replacement for hair gel, and this is ES Einsteinium. Static electricity is all about when an object is positively or negatively charged. As electrons are negative, when two insulated materials are rubbed together, the electrons are scraped off one material onto the other. The item losing electrons will become positively charged, and the material gaining electrons will become negatively charged. They start off with no charge as they have the same number of protons as electrons. The electrons are attracted to different materials depending on what the materials are made of. For example, a duster. If a duster is rubbed against a polythene rod, all the electrons move from the duster towards the rod, whereas if it's rubbed against an acetate rod, all the electrons move from the rod to the duster. If an object is electrically charged, it attracts small neutral objects or objects with no charge, such as dust. A good example to do is to get a static object and move it near running water from a tap. It will push away the water or pull it towards it, depending on what the material is. It's important to realise that only electrons can move. Protons and neutrons can't. If enough electrons gather in the same place, they can suddenly jump from one object to another, causing a spark or shocks, which can be dangerous. For example, negative lightning is electrons moving from the clouds to the earth, from the earth to the clouds, or even clouds to other clouds, wherever the charge happens to be. Cars get charged when they drive around. As the air gets forced out of their way, it can cause the cars to become positively charged or negatively charged, depending on what it's made out of. They can be discharged safely by connecting it to the earth with a metal strip. This is called earthing. If your car is negatively charged when it is connected, the electrons flow to the earth, and if it's positively charged, then it flows from the earth to the car. Static electricity causes all sorts of nuisances. For example, it makes all the dust stick to your TV, messes up your hair when you put on a woolly jumper, and can even give you shocks when you're on the trampoline. It can also be dangerous. The charge from your clothes can get so great that it can create a spark, and this is dangerous near flammable things. To prevent this, objects have to be earthed, which have anything to do with flammable substances. Fuel tankers have to be earthed to prevent sparks. Planes have to be earthed. Fuel tanks in your cars also have to be earthed. Anti-static sprays or cloths can be used to make an item conductive, so the charge will just pass through it and not cause any problems. Also, insulating materials prevent sparks as it stops the static electricity moving through it. Summary 1. Static electricity is charged that can't move anywhere. 2. They can be positive or negative. 3. Only electrons can move. 4. Static causes problems like collecting dust, wrecking your hairstyles and electric shocks. 5. Objects have to be earthed to safely discharge them. That's static electricity. Thanks for watching. I'm the eccentric scientist. Hit like if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe for more videos, leave me a comment, bye!